the Supreme Court upholds with finality most of the anti-terror law. This means Filipinos will have to live with the draconian clauses of the law under the president they will elect on May 9. The Supreme Court denies with finality the motions for reconsideration on the highly contested law, citing a lack of substantial issues in arguments raised by the petitioners. The consolation for petitioners was the original decision struck down a proviso under Section 4, which was feared to give law enforcement the freedom to interpret dissent as an act of terrorism. The voting is largely similar to the original decision, with the justices maintaining their votes. Critics can push for a law that would amend or repeal the law, but this would depend on the priorities of the next Congress and the new administration. Vice President Lenny Robredo's second eldest daughter, Dr. Trisha Robredo, asked the National Bureau of Investigation to look into the spread of fake lewd videos of her online. The Robredo camp says Trisha, through her lawyer Pinky Bernabe, sought the NBI's assistance through a letter to determine possible cybercrimes committed against her. Several links claiming Trisha was involved in a video scandal were being spread on porn sites, blogs, and social media platforms, like the experience of her older sister Aika, who also asked for the NBI's help. This as Robredo's presidential campaign surges in the last few weeks before the May 9 elections. Meantime, Robredo scores endorsements from Batanes Governor Marilu Caico and Nueva Ecija First District Representative Estrelita Ging Sun Singh. Two weeks before Election Day, Robredo returns to campaign in Nueva Ecija, while her youngest daughter Jillian Robredo represents her in Batanes. Both officials who endorsed Robredo cite her consistency with providing support and assistance to their provinces. Elon Musk clinches a deal to buy Twitter for $44 billion in a transaction that will shift control of the social media platform to the world's richest person. Musk earlier criticized Twitter's moderation, saying the social media platform's algorithm for prioritizing tweets should be public and criticized. Political conservatives hope a Musk regime would mean less moderation and reinstatement of banned individuals including former President Donald Trump. Musk himself has suggested user-friendly tweaks to the service, such as an edit button and defeating spam bots that send overwhelming amounts of unwanted tweets. Discussions over the deal, which last week appeared uncertain, accelerated over the weekend after Musk wooed Twitter shareholders with financing details of his offer. Under pressure, Twitter started negotiating with Musk to buy the company at the proposed $54.20 per share price. Twitter chief executive Parag Agrawal tells employees Monday, April 25, the future of the social media firm is uncertain after the deal. Former U.S. President Donald Trump is held in contempt for not producing documents subpoenaed in the state attorney general's civil probe of his business practices. A New York judge also orders Trump to be fined $10,000 per day until he complies. The contempt order comes as Trump fails to quash a subpoena from state attorney general Letitia James. Justice Arthur Ngoran rules, a contempt finding was appropriate because of what the judge called repeated failures to hand over materials. James is investigating whether the Trump Organization, the former president's New York City-based family company, misstated the values of its real estate properties to obtain favorable loans and tax deductions. Trump, a Republican, denies wrongdoing and calls the investigation politically motivated. Actor Johnny Depp concludes his testimony on Monday, April 25, in the defamation case he filed against ex-wife Amber Heard. Depp says he was the victim of domestic violence in their relationship and was broken by the time their marriage fell apart. Depp, once among the biggest stars in Hollywood, says he never struck Heard or any woman and Heard's allegations cost him everything, including then-upcoming movie deals. A state court judge in Fairfax County, Virginia, is overseeing the trial, which is expected to last until late May. Meanwhile, K-pop group EXO member D.O. tests positive for COVID-19. In SM Entertainment's statement, the label assures fans D.O. is not experiencing any symptoms and is getting treatment at home. D.O. debuted as a member of EXO in 2012 and made his debut as a solo artist in July with his mini-album Empathy.